hi there and welcome back it's tanya from tatty treasures hello if you're new then welcome welcome aboard it's always nice to have new people and it's nice to finally meet you <laughs> um and welcome back to uh returning subscribers it's always always nice to meet you um don't forget to give me a like give me a thumbs up and uh, leave me hello um so today i'm going to do another decoupage video um <clears throat> i had a few questions uh last time so i did say um that i would do do another one so look at this gorgeous um napkin so i cut it in half first before um i un undid the plies because uh, i find if i cut it with scissors it's easier to cut it before it's you know this thin um so i cut it in half um and took the other two plies off and i've just made it Ooh, i don't know it's about the same size i was gonna say i'd made it a little bit bigger but i'm fibbing so i've got some other pretty napkins here um all kinds of um you know meadowish um kind of thing that's it and um i've got some different pieces which i want to um do some decoupage on done a few pieces uh off camera so this is this beautiful one love that uh this is just really plain it's a journal card um which obviously needs inking up and a nice tab or probably look nice with a ruffle and then round the edges i've just done a plain tag and i did another one of these because these are going to be for um if I need extra journal cards or or tags, I find it's it's handy to um, have so many. Um, I tend to do a couple of boards. I, I'm calling this a board um, of decoupage and a couple of collage, and then they're just um, nice, quick, easy uh, tags, especially when you're at the end of your project and you're running out of steam a bit um and then you've got some you know that you can just put minimal decoration on and um they go nice nice with your project so i'm just totally covering this with with the glue stick any glue stick will do <laughs> uh, that reminded me of um that musical any dream will do joseph and i try and fold it over a bit so I've got a little bit more um, control and I'm going to try and get it straight it really doesn't doesn't matter because the ink will will hide um, you know if it's not directly on the bottom or you can cut, cut it off so I'm just rubbing it not not soft but definitely not um, hard I'm just pressing it down okay that's got minimal creases in it's got this big crease where the napkin was folded um, in half but that's fine and then I'm just gonna pop some collage medium over the top um, just to make sure it's totally uh, down and it makes them just a bit more ro robust so make sure I've got all the edges so it's nice and sealed in and then I don't bother cutting around it or anything until it's totally dry so you best, you know, popping it somewhere else or on the floor or, you know, where, wherever until it's totally uh, dry. So I'm just trying to give it a thin-ish coat. Only really thin-ish because the medium's <laughs> expensive so I don't want to go, um, you know, splashing it all over the place. And again, I'm not brushing soft, but I'm not brushing hard either. 
it's that kind of in between okay and that's that's that there may be a few wrinkles in and stuff but you know nothing nothing highly uh visible that was one of the questions uh did did my uh decoupage have get wrinkles on it um i think well i think decoupaging really can be one of the hardest uh, things um i made this as well um it's a die and i put the napkin um in the middle so i'm going to make that into you know an opening pocket so what else shall we do let's um let's do a few of these um little pieces so i'm going to fold this in half that makes it really small then but then you know that's absolutely humongous you know i might do it like this not cut it in half and maybe make that into to a notebook or cover the inside with um journaling paper so let's have a look what we shall do there's that piece i'm wondering if that'd be too too high it'd be too high for the butterfly but it'd be fine uh, for everything else so I'm going to get um, my water pen and I'm just going to squeeze these to release some water. So I'll just squeeze that, get some water going. Oop, a bit too much. So just gently pulling it. Why didn't it go all the way down? I don't know. Okay. So with this one, I will just use uh, the medium and I'll just spread it all over. The reason I'm not doing this with the glue stick is because I think, I would imagine, because this napkin isn't gonna cover the entire thing, um, I would think that the glue stick would still be quite tacky, whereas this <coughs> will, you know, dry and it, it won't be um, tacky. So let's open it up and oh I've not <laughs> I've not um done the thing <laughs> that's it let's try and get it into this corner again I've flipped it over slightly so I can get this this bottom bit down first Okay, and I'm just going over it just to make sure it's all all done. And I'll pop, pop that on the floor. Right, what shall we do now? I'm wondering if to have that that way and maybe just take take this out so let me first I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna cut one square off just find it's it's easier to manage um, if you make it smaller I'll probably come back tomorrow and um, you know finish these pieces pieces off make them into 
something or you know some of them will just want finishing off right so pop that over there and I think I'm gonna take this out I wonder if I can get both of those squeeze that again all or nothing these pens are I mean, to be honest, I used to cut them, cut them out with scissors. Um, which is fine. Um, but this definitely gives you a, a more seamless uh, look. Whereas if you do it with scissors, um, you can normally see, you know, like the cut off point, if that means makes sense okay if that fits not really so what can we use it on that's nice I've got anything else smallish I think I want something taller, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, let's put it, put it on this glassy in bag. All of these have been uh, tea stained. You don't have to do them tea stained if you don't like the, the vintagey look. Okay. So again, I'll use the, <coughs> the matte medium. Okay, that's another one. Right, so how do you think I'm going to use this envelope? I do like using them that way and having it as a pocket and then opening it. So probably just want something um, in that corner. Hmm, wonder if... Yes. So you can get an awful lot of things out of um, a napkin. That's why I do tend to just take um, a quarter off because then I can, you know fold the rest up and put it and put it away I think there's another layer there might be difficult to get up let's just get a bit of tape my eyes aren't very good um, today. Yeah. Okay. So let's pop that there. Okay, that's about the right right size. Let's try not to go in the envelope. I 
that's it you can just see it sinking into the background okay that's another one right we do something tall to go on here and there's this nice tall one here i don't think they'll get the whole pole lot but harder to rip <coughs> because I've obviously kept uh, the three on I don't know why I've done that I don't normally I not, do normally take it take it off after I've cut it Let's see if I can get around here Right, how long can we get it? Oh yeah, to there. So, oop, I'm in frame okay. I can say it's not the most interesting this video. But, no, it was one of the most probably watch videos I I watched um you know before before I tried it I watched loads of people doing it and say I just couldn't make head and the tails of it because a lot of people do it you know differently um and using different products and stuff yeah that's nice Right, let's um, take the backing off. Oh, God. These, oh gosh, I put stuck on there. These probably would have looked... Um, a lot nicer if I'd have stamped um, in the background first but I mean there's no stopping me stamping stamping around it after it would have obviously been a lot easier to do it before but right this will take about a week to dry I totally, totally overdid it. Okay, drop that down. I think that's going to be really nice. Um, so we've got this one. So this one, I think I might totally cover the front like I have um, that tag. Should I do it in that one? Let's do it in this one. And I'm going to take that edge off on that side. Okay. Cutting it just just a bit bigger. Okay. And I'm just going to do this one with glue stick. This gives you a totally different uh, texture when you don't put the uh, matte medium on. It gives you. I don't know, a bit like um, a velvety um, feel, which is nice. It's... Mm. 
Okay. I just put a little bit of something in there. Yeah, that'd be nice. And just put some on top. Okay, right, I shall leave that open because that's pretty dry because I've not put any <laughs> glue over the, the top of it. So that was that one. Um, what else have we got? Oh, let's do that. The envelope, now, oh, that's tall enough. Okay. So, again, I'm going to cut that edge off. It's got all the dots on. I try not to use that. If I've got to, then I will. Um, but if I don't, I won't. Then I'll just cut it off in the middle. That should be fine. Yep. Let's take that. I think just one came off. Come on. Okay. So I'm going to do this with the map medium. Let's go around this window. And I'm not going to take the window out until it's totally dry. So I will leave that until the next uh, video. Because I did one before and it turned out alright. But it's a little bit scruffy. Uh, but obviously <coughs> I took the window out, um, you know, in the same video. So it hasn't got time to, to dry. Mind you, when you're doing it on, you know, coffee or tea stained, it, it does wrinkle because the paper's not, well, the paper's wrinkly underneath. So we obviously don't want to go, you know, round, round the window uh, part. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Okay, so I'll pop that down. Just looks a bit backy, but I do think it's just with the puckering of the of the tea. How long have I been? Oh, twenty five. Not sure what I want to do with that. It's rather a large piece, isn't it? Now, might as well just put that there, haven't I? Let's do that then. Oh, might as well use it up and not. Or, I do really like that. I think I'm going to put that up. 
and I might take that off and pop that butterfly in. So let's and I think I think you can't fit that bit in. So I'll go across there. It's very warm in here, so uh, the water seems to dry up very quick. And I'll go across there, like so. That's still got its layers on. Yep. And I'm going to take that butterfly off. Some people are really good with these brushes. I'm not. I feel quite awkward um, with one. But I think I've, I've only used it on napkins a couple of times. I'm going to say I've only just really stopped cutting them out with scissors. So I suppose I'll get used to it. Right. So let's guess what I've got on the brush first. Okay. Okay. Oop. <laughs> Upside down. Oh, lovely. Okay, put that down to to dry. Just be careful when I push my um, chair out. Right, let's um, let's cover this. See so what I've got on the table. What this goes to there. So maybe. Oh no, no. I'm not. What about that? Dense down there, doesn't it? Hmm, not sure. Not sure. What's that? Oh, that's a full one. I don't know if I want to put that just across that. Very, I don't know if to do the back. Let me do the back and then perhaps just rip um, a bit out. So if I start it from, from there, but I'm going to take the um, thingy bit off, but I might use that bit on the front. So if I pop it at the top as well. So if I just go over there, let's do that and then you've probably had enough, I think I'll do, do the rest um, off screen 
and then like I say I'll come back tomorrow and I'll get them all cut down and everything inked around before I come back and then we'll see what we can do with them. Now, I'm not going to be able to do the front until this is dry. I can just put a bit, a bit of water on there. That's it. Okay, okay. That's that, and I'm going to keep that piece. And I'm going to put that on the front. So I'll put that over there. Right. Um, let me just see what I've got left. So I've got the, the frame, which all I'm going to do is stick it over and then again I'll do that when it's uh, dry. So that's that one. This uh, slotted pocket. It's, um, yeah, it's a small space, isn't it? Just want something... Mm. Okay, I'm probably going to have to get that and that out. So yeah, I'll go around those. I'll get that and that out. Yeah, just that and that for that. That's for that. And then, oh, we've got the index card. Which do that and whatever's left um, from that one and this one I don't know I think I'm gonna put that back in my stash because <laughs> I've had it I've had enough oh and I've got the um the little envelope so I will do do that um if I do it that way Oh, that'll just fit. So I'll do do that bit on there. So that's what I'm going to do. Then I've still got quite a bit of napkin that I can put away. But they're all, um, you know, squares. I've got no funny bits to be uh, putting away. These bits, <coughs> I'll just find something and, and just stick it on. Uh, just to just to use it up so i'll see you tomorrow thanks for for joining me and um yeah bye for now